All right, so now we're gonna go into an isometric overhead dumbbell press. So we can do this standing. We also have the option to do this in a half kneeling position. If I do this in a half kneeling position, the side that's down is gonna be the side that I'm pressing up on. And essentially all I'm doing here is I wanna maintain a nice long arm here through a neutral torso. So the compensation here comes from my mid to low back. So notice as I press up, what I'm gonna to wanna to do, and I'm just pulling my shirt, is I wanna to start to arch back, which is not what I want you to do. I want you to keep your torso rigid. Notice as I do, did that, my shoulder wanted to soften up. So now I have to reach as I maintain a rigid torso, keep that bicep next to your ear. Additionally, Position-wise, we want to think about externally rotating on the shoulder. So if I'm here, I don't want to be here with my arm turned in because see how my shoulder starts to dump forward and then I start to soften my elbow and then just structurally and foundationally speaking, it's not stable. Shoulder needs to be in a nice closed pack position. How do we do that? Maintain external rotation on the shoulder as I press up and I might start to find limitations in my range of motion. Maybe my lat's a little tight. Maybe I just don't have the strength in my rotator cuff to maintain this position. Maybe my bicep's short, right? So I need to work on bicep mobility. Different things to kind of think about as we're maintaining this position, but really we wanna have some sort of resistance, whether it's a dumbbell, whether it's a resistance band, and I have myself stepping on the band as I press up, I'm still getting resistance down into my shoulder. Additionally, I'm loading the tricep through an isometric and I'm loading that shoulder girdle with compression on it, with the resistance, right? So this is the isometric overhead shoulder press.